Hey guys, I hope everyone's doing well. I wanted to get you all just kind of a little um, bonus painting here. I've got a really cute horse that I thought would be fun for adults that wanted to, um, you could get really as detailed as you want, or even a fun painting for kids if you've got kids home for the summer or, um, you know, grandkids or whoever. Um, I wanted to show you guys a really easy technique on how to make a stencil, use a, use a piece of paper as a stencil with a canvas. So I've just got my horse just kind of drawn on here and I used a pencil, but if you go to a window where it's sunny, so it has to be a sunny day and put your piece of paper, just print it out, which you can get the stencil um, here along with the video. So don't, um, don't, if you need help finding it, let me know but you just put the stencil behind and then when you go, when you hold your canvas up to a light and you can even put like a little piece of tape on there if you need to, and then just take your pencil and hold it up and you can just sketch on the lines. So super easy. You can use that with all kinds of different things. So just a little, a little tip. Um, you can also buy like transfer paper or, um, like graphite paper that will work the same but um this is a pretty simple way to do if you've got some sunshine so I've already got mine traced on so I'm gonna go ahead and just put put her aside for now um, but I've got um, just a couple colors I was just going to do the background in blue as some like a really light blue I've got some dark dark brown this is chocolate sprinkle but it's just a really dark dark brown um, this is called Calypso Sky. It's a folk art paint. Um, and then I've just got some white and black. Okay, and I've got my, um, my big paintbrush. I've also got just a couple of smaller ones to help me do a little bit of detail work. So what I want to do is I'm going to start with this, um, background here. And you'll also want some napkins and a cup with some water. Okay. So I'm going to start out adding a little bit of water to my paint. So I'm just gonna dip my big brush in some water and just kind of swish it around. Now this background, I'm not gonna do a really really thick coat I want to just kind of make this light almost kind of like a watercolor so I am just ever so lightly brushing this blue paint on and I want to get close to the face we're going to paint the face like a like a light brown so it'll cover up if you get a little bit of that blue, but you want to try to get close. Now, if you want to use a different color, a different size brush, like something smaller to get around the edges, that's fine. But I'm just super lightly putting some paint on there, making it watery. Now this is her head. So I'm going to to make this come down and I'm gonna I made like little lines for the hair or for the mane but I'm going to just go right over those with my blue and then I can take some brown paint and go over that and you could use any color for this background I think like probably anything but brown would be good And I'm not, I'm, I kind of want this to be a little messy looking. So I'm just not really going all the same direction. Just, okay. Now when we get up to the ear, you might want to grab a smaller brush and I'm just going to kind of lightly put some paint on there. Now 
back to my smaller brush here just to kind of get around the face. So I've just got just kind of a messy background here and I'm gonna do my sides while I've got my paint on my brush just super lightly give them some of this light blue paint It's so humid today. It's hot and it just rained. So my paint takes forever to dry. So keep that in mind when it's the middle of the summer and it's super hot. Give your paint a little bit of extra time to dry. So if you're having trouble covering any areas, just walk away and give it a little bit of time. And this canvas, it's um, an 11 by 14, which is the same size that I use for like kids' parties. You can buy them at Hobby Lobby, you can buy them at Michael's, they even have them at the Dollar General sometimes. Okay. Now I'm gonna just kind of let that be for the background now. I like that messy look if you want yours to not be quite so messy. You can always add more paint. You know, you could add a second coat if you wanted to. I just like that wispy, wispy look. Okay, so I rinsed out my large brush. You wanna dab it on your napkin. Make sure you've got all the blue out. And I'm gonna take some of this dark brown and a little bit of white. Doesn't take very much of that dark brown. Put a little bit of water in it and just lighten this up a little bit. Now, if you think of how an animal looks, you know, you're not going to have just one solid color, right? You're going to have some darker areas as they have, you know, like muscles and different things. So the color doesn't need to be perfectly mixed is what I'm getting at because you want to have some lighter areas and some darker areas. Um, the white's important though. You do want to have white in. White just makes everything go on a little bit more smoothly. Just helps you to cover. So I'm just making my brush strokes. I'm just going down. I'm just kind of following the curve here. at the bottom and put some brown on there. Okay, and we're gonna do a like a black line to show where her face kind of comes out. But right now we're just getting a base coat of some brown on there. And then we'll go back and we'll add some shadows and some highlights and different things. And I'm just going right over the eyes here. You want to still be able to see it, but I can still see mine a little bit. So you can always pull out your paper too and use it as a reference. Okay, 
Okay, so I want to get the ear as well. So just got a little smaller brush here, just a medium sized brush. filling this little guy in and remember we're going to do some shading and some things on top so this first coat which I say this a lot is not going to be perfect I can still see my line underneath there where the eye is and the nostrils. Okay, so I'm gonna give this a few minutes, let it dry. Um, I'm actually gonna just pull out my hair dryer, dry it, and then um, we'll come back and do the details and a second coat. Okay, so that's pretty dry. So I wanna go back and I, I'm gonna use my big brush to just kind of make some more, um, make this a little darker and just kind of cover this main part here. So I just kinda of wanna start at the top here and just make my way down. I've still got a little bit of the white in there. I'm not going to straight brown. You want to use long brush strokes that will help too, so it doesn't look sh just kind of choppy. Okay, and then I want to. Pull some of this down under the face. Now again, you guys can use that smaller brush if you want, just to kind of get in the curves and Okay. So I'm gonna grab that medium sized brush again and I'm gonna give my ears a second coat. we're gonna add um, some just like some highlights in there so I'm just gonna kind of leave it dark for right now and then I'll come back to it and add some lighter and darker in the ears and things All right, so I'm gonna let that dry a little bit more. I'm gonna put some more of my dark brown, just kind of mixture here on my brush. I've got my medium sized brush. I wanna hold it the skinny way. So I'm not gonna go like this. I wanna hold it like this. And I wanna just take these little lines and just kind of flutter them out. So what I'm doing is I'm going like this and then I'm kind of lifting up at the end and you can add more in than what was in the you know on the example so just some little ones in the middle Go 
back and just kind of go over this, just tidy this up a little bit. Okay, now you can either use the dark brown or the black for this next part. I'm gonna just, I've still got some of the dark brown on my brush. I'm gonna take just a teeny bit of black just to darken up my brown. So if you have just had regular brown and you add some black in with it, it'll make that chocolate, chocolate brown color for you. So what I wanna do is I don't need a whole lot of paint on my brush but I want to just kind of outline the cheek here just to kind of show that that's in front okay and I'm also going to do a little bit up here a little bit down here just giving it some shading and I want a little bit back here And then I'm gonna put some in the ears. So I wanna almost just like show the center there of those, those ears. And then if you feel like it needs more, or if you wanna outline it, you can do that. The nice thing about this dark brown is if you get too much, you can always go back in and soften it up a little bit with some more paint. Okay, so I'm gonna just kind of reference back to my original here. So we've got an eye and a couple of nostrils, and then we've also got just like kind of some bangs up here. So I'm going to use this skinny brush and some black and brown mixed together. And I wanna just make some lines here like the mane is just kind of blowing there in the wind okay and then I want to do the same thing on this side okay outline my ears a little bit here All right, now I'm gonna dry a little bit here. So that I can do the eye. So the eye is kind of like an almond shape. So I definitely want to use my skinny brush and I want to use my black paint. Okay, so what I want to do first is I want to make this line that goes on the top. So the eye is going to be right about here. You don't need very much paint on your brush. And I'm just making a curved line. And then I've got a circle that comes underneath. And I'm just super lightly just kind of sketching this on. You can always go back and darken it up. Okay. And then the inside has And you guys know you can pause me anytime, so don't feel like 
you have to hurry through this. Okay, so we've got a couple of nostrils here. This one over here is just kind of skinny. I've got my black paint again. And then I'm gonna do another nostril here. And it's just, I've just got two lines, just kind of curving together there. And then a line right next to it. I feel like we need something up here a little bit. So I'm gonna just define this a little bit across here. And maybe even define this a little bit more with some darker. The fun thing about like doing animals and things is you could just shade forever. I, I love shading, but you could just keep messing with it. But I've also learned too that if you just keep going and going and going, stop when you like it, I guess is what I always tell people. Okay, now I want to put a little bit more black on here and just kind of darken that eye up a little. So if you think of this it's just three shapes, you've got a line and then a circle underneath and then another circle inside. Now I want to take skinny brush again. I'm gonna make just like some light brown. I'll water it down just a little bit. And I wanna do just a little bit of white shading, not a lot. Just gonna do a little bit more definition on these ears. I'm just doing a lighter color in some areas, I'm gonna do some lighter in the mane here, where the bangs are. And I think I'll do a little bit of lighter here, just kind of along the jawline. A little bit back here. And you could add some lighter um, colors in on the main too. Um, a lot of times when we do lines, like whether it's a tree branch or a, you know, whatever it is, people say, oh, mine, I got it too thick, you know? So if you take a little bit of a lighter color and just kind of go in on top of it, that helps to thin, thin those lines out and it gives that illusion that they're a little skinnier so just a little, um, just a little tip if you need to soften those. Put a little bit of white in there. Okay, and then we need a that white dot in the eye. So I've got skinny brush. I'm gonna put quite a bit of paint on there. And I'm just gonna dab right there. And that is it. So there you go. Um, make sure you get all of your sides painted before you put your paint away. You could add anything you want to. If you want to add other colors, if you wanted to add, um, you, know, you could add like a flower in the corner down here. Um, you could really do, do just about anything. I think a daisy would be cute down here. Let's do one here. So you can just make some little 
leaves. Kind of fill it in with some white here. yellow. I've still got white on my brush. Just gonna add some yellow in there, give this guy some color. And then I'm not even gonna rinse my brush. I'm just gonna take some brown. Dab it. And if, if you have some green paint, you could just make a super small little leaf. Okay, guys, let me know what you think. Show me yours if you um, have your kids do it. Show me, show me what they create. If you have any questions, as always, let me know. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.